don't take it serious because she's only there for her own personal gains. What's up people, it's your boy Andrew FAQ here with you another video. I'm excited for this one, let's go! So today we're going to be discussing 5 types of women to avoid dating long term. These are very critical points that I'm going to give to you. Let's get to the video. So the first point I'm going to discuss if she is masculine or has a competitive nature to herself. Let me break that down a bit further. When you're dating a girl and she is trying to compete with you in terms of finances, let's say you ask her out on a date and she doesn't, she doesn't drink and you offer, you offer her to go out on a date on a bar. If she's feminine or she's compliant, she will come with you and may drink water. But if she starts to say, oh, give you suggestions on other places, that could be a red flag because now she's coming across that she, she likes to be competitive. She likes to change the plans that you already created for both of you. She's then putting out a different narrative, like change the narrative of where you decided to go in the first place. Only because she don't drink, but she's like, okay, let's try this place or let's go to this place and because they offer a different type of food services. But the thing is, if she is a feminine type of woman and she likes to be compliant, she's gonna be she's gonna be happy to go with you. She might just have the water instead of like having alcohol or anything that she don't like. She'll just come with you because the it's the vibe that she likes. She's going to she's going to get your vibe. She wants to go with you because she wants to see that okay, I like this guy for who he is. Even though I might, I might be a drinker, but I still want to go with him because I'm going to have a time to experience time with him and get to know him more. But when she starts to like give you alternatives and start to give start to ask you to do something else that you didn't plan for, that can be a red flag and that could be a woman you won't want to avoid on a long term. You want to just don't date them on a long term situation because. It can be problems for you. Point number two, if you're not fully her type. Listen, I know times when you're dating a girl, but she only chose you because you have certain characteristics. That's why she picked you. She's not seeing you as the 10-10. She's gonna be still seeking the man that she actually finds attractive. If a girl is not feeling you that way, I just say, have her there for a short-term dating, but she's gonna still gonna be kinda get her validation from someone else. She's gonna be out there doing things that you're gonna like because she don't see you as her 10-10. You need to see that as a option just to date her but not keep her serious. Like, so I heard this before, it's called recreational use only. That's what Myron Gaines says on Fresh and Fit. It says, if she's not that type of woman that she's not there for you fully and she's just using you just to, like a placeholder, use her for recreational use only. Don't take it serious because she don't see you as 10-10. She's just there just because obviously you meet her certain requirement but you're not fully her she's not you're not fully her type. She might be into Hispanic guys and you're just the guy that just ticks one of her boxes. So me, when I'm dating, I've got, I've got to make sure that the girl is fully like sees me as that 10-10. Like I'll look at her history, what type of guy she likes. And if I'm looking at that and I'm like, okay, she likes black guys that are tats are in shape more time I'm gonna be her type so I'm gonna invest more in that but if I see that her previous are say white Asian or Hispanic I know that mm, this girl might not even find me fully attractive she just might not be beating me because um I might be I might have a, a certain characteristic that she likes but that's not gonna help me in terms of like feeling secure in a relationship I'm gonna be like she's just probably with me because I possess something that she likes but on the long term she doesn't see me as 10-10 I'm gonna avoid dating her long term and keeping her as, as a serious option. Point number three, and I've, I've mentioned this in a previous video, when it's almost like when you're trying to like invest in like a, an asset of an liability. We just, we, there's, there's programs that teach you what is an asset that's gonna give you long term income where a liability where they de it depreciate. You've got to see this as also in a relationship. If a girl comes into your relationship or comes into your life, and she's a liability, she's not giving you, she's not bringing value to your life. All she's doing is extracting, extracting value from you. Because if she's not coming there and seeing where she can prove your life or help you become secured in, in the environment that she's in, you're gonna feel like she's taken away from you. You're gonna become less of the man, you become a, a figment of, your, of yourself. You're not gonna feel secured in that environment. You're gonna be feeling like, okay, I'm only here, she's only here with me because I, I provide a different value to her but she's not bringing a value to me so she's gonna be taking all your resources extracting your resources expensive dates taking you out on these places but she's not gonna 
bring value to you by assisting you in your business or in your lifestyle, helping you become comfortable in an environment to help you grow as a person. Because if she's there to take things and she's not bringing value to you, that's that's a lot. It's not a long-term situation. You got to be in and out in that situation. That situation, I call it recreational use only. Because if she's only there to extract information, extract value from you, don't take it serious because she's only there for her own personal gains. She don't see you as, oh, I want to build with this guy. I want to help this guy become um, physically better, mentally better, even financially better by assisting you in places that you are not um, doing well in. Because sometimes us men, we just focusing on the on the on the goal. We can't see what the other areas we are being to prove in. And a girl's a girl's um, objective, if she's a good a good woman, she'll come in and be like, hang on, I see that he likes coffee in the morning. Let me go make coffee in the morning for him, so he can have that ready for him in terms of about to start his meeting. Or I see that his house sometimes is a bit um, messy. Let me help him put some stuff away so he can see. Uh, clearly where things are so he's, he's not have time to look for things in the house everything is organized in that in that area that's how she becomes an asset rather than a liability to you number four and this is any girl that you dated previously or you had some sort of connection previously that tries to come back do not take her seriously because she never saw the value in you the first time so now she sees you leveling up she's trying to come back into your life because she sees that you have become the guy that she was hoping for but before you came that person she wasn't interested she probably ghosted you it's times that you can probably met a girl you might even had sex with her but she ghosted you after that then a couple months down the line you get a message from her she obviously didn't she, her value probably went um, lower and she thought maybe i can reconnect with you again and build build what was left before if she comes back me personally recreational use i won't take it serious i might entertain it but that's not going to go any further than recreational use because at the time when I was trying to build something with her, she never saw my value. She was just seeking the attention. And the, when she left me and I leveled up, now she wants to come back because she sees that I've leveled up. Now she wants to come extract all my resources. No. That's when you be like, okay, hi, cool, but don't be trying to take it long term because she wasn't there for the hard grafting when you had to graft and become that man you are now. If she wasn't there from the start, don't make her become your future. Have her there for recreational use only. The girls that are there from the start, the girls that saw the potential in you from the start, those are the ones you can potentially make serious girlfriends and potentially down the line become more serious with them. But if she wasn't there from the start and she's trying to come back into your life and maybe trying to like sweet talk you like, oh, I was busy. Listen, she never saw you as that guy. She's just there to gain um, information or extract some resources off you now she's trying to come back because she sees that you leveled up recreational use only don't take it serious guys point number five and this one's a very important one any girl that hates the modern manosphere message so if you ask a girl the answer what do you feel about Andrew Tate's message and if her response is negative and nothing uh, positive about the guy then she obviously she is not um, a traditional girl. She's into the modern femi feminist uh, society that's been built today. If you ask her about how you feel about fresh and fit, because a lot of these guys that are in this manosphere are trying to teach guys how to become more masculine and be, um, become better men for their woman. But if a woman's trying to come in there and say, no, these people are misogynistic or they hate women, that's when you know it's a red flag because if you look at the message that Andrew Tate is preaching out to men, chase the goals, level up, become better men for their woman, they're not looking at that. They're looking at the things that Andrew say, oh, they just should be um, should be feminine and look after the man and a man got to provide while the woman is a nurturing human being. They're not looking at that. They're looking at the, the negative things that um, that have been chopped and screwed from Andrew Tate and they put on the internet. And that's what they're trying to take a, a, across and be like, oh, if you follow Andrew Tate, then you're a bad person. Those are the women you don't take serious. I'm going to be honest with you because I, me personally, I like Andrew Tate's message. I like Fresh and Fit's message. Those guys are trying to help guys become more better in this, in this modern world because a lot of women are using men for their resources and they're trying to teach you men to become more better um, elevate in life you know become better human beings become more better men how to uh, approach women in this, date, in this modern dating world because nowadays you have to hit all boxes now you can't just be financially free financially um, dependent you can't just be uh, a fit person but have no money nowadays women have so many options and these guys are teaching you guys and like myself, 
how to become better men, how to chase chase your um, goals, chase purpose, chase level up. Don't chase women because they will come after. When you've got your body correct, you've got your finance correct, your finances, your status, all these things, once you've got them correct, women are gonna go chase you. They're gonna chase your validation. And that's what Andrew Tate's preaching, Fresh and Fritz preaching, myself is preaching. So if a girl is agreeing with that and she likes some of the messages, that is a green flag and be like, you know what, at least she understands that these guys are trying, are putting a positive message out there for the youngsters. But if she's like, oh, no, you follow these guys, all oh, my days, you must be misogynistic. Just be like, okay, cool. But don't take it serious because she's obviously got her own views in this modern day society and she might be a feminist that doesn't really like men to try to level up. She wants to control men. So that's my points. That's my five points today. I hope you enjoy this video. If you do, click on the subscribe button. Join the team, FAQ Fitness, FAQ Vlogs. Till next time, guys. Peace.